There's Christopher. You hear him, but you can't see him. <laughs> Is anybody home? Here I am too far away again because I'm trying to show you something. And I, look, I hope you're sitting down because I, you actually, look, you're going to be able to see the food. I, I know you're impressed, but what I want to talk to you about today, and I'll bring you a little closer so I can actually get my eyeballs on you because that's where I feel like I can convey my message of love and light. You know, hey everybody, how are y'all? So um, what I'm wanting to show you though and talk about, we'll talk about it in a minute, but I'm wanting to talk about how it is you can go anywhere and do anything this holiday season or frankly any season being yourself doing different to get different arriving with here i am right so the way you're going to do that i was talking to a friend of mine the other day on skype and i was just reiterating this to her how really if you bring a dressing along to a restaurant you can typically order and get if you're very sweet to the server a platter of veggies and if you have something like this which is very small as you see in your purse you can have your dressing with you if you want to be even more simplistic just put your avocado in your bag you're going to have to do different to get different you may be thinking well nobody else has an avocado in their pocket looking like they're happy to see me okay that's fine but the thing is these people are all getting the top five diseases killing everyone they can't even fit in their holiday pants but you my friend can right and what's better than that is when you get to the new year you're going to arrive in the new year already well on your way to the best version of yourself not waiting on the calendar or media to tell you it's time to start because guess what now is the time so i want to talk to you about something when you're making a dressing to bring along to a restaurant normally you know when i make a dressing it's going to kick up because i'm going to bulk it up about half of vitamix full of dressing which is this amount right so and it's it's kind of a mild dressing but when typically if i'm going to bring one to a restaurant Normally, you would not eat a whole bottle of dressing, right? Because a commercial style dressing would be more potent, you know, stronger. So what we're going to do instead of having a dressing that ends up being, this is just vinegar, but this size, we're going to have a dressing that either is like half pint size or, or fits into this so that you're going to have that there. This is a great little um, Sistema is the brand of this. I got this at Ross for $2, but it's really good because it locks very good. It's BPA free, which I know people, some people still like glass, but if you have something like this bust in your purse, then you'll realize this is kind of handy to bring along. Anyway, but it locks really good. Did y'all hear that? I mean, it's, it's pretty tight, so you know, okay, this is not gonna leak in my pretty pocketbook, right? So you can have something smaller than this, but my point is this, it's going to be a more potent or strong dressing, and therefore, you're not going to need a whole lot. You, if you eat out of a salad bar, you can still eat all the salad you want. I can eat anybody under the table at the salad bar. Okay? I always eat the all you can eat, you know what I mean? They, they hate to see me coming, but anyway, and I'll come close in a minute to see what y'all are saying, because I can't see from here, but... Anyway, so I just want to show you what this will look like being a more potent dressing. So let's look at that. Oh, you can see. I know it's exciting. So anyway, let's have, um, we could actually measure something out. That's the thing we could do. Let me see if I have a, I probably somewhere have a measuring cup. Let's see. I think I would be prepared for this. Like I didn't know I was fixing the. Go, oh, I do. I have one. I really did. Okay. So let's look at this, shall we? Let's take our measuring cup and let's put in. This is raw apple cider vinegar with the mother. That way we have enzymes intact. You could use a little bit of water and one whole lemon or one whole lime. Peel the yellow or the green. Cut it in half. Flick out the seeds. You can also use an orange. You could use blood orange, tangerine, tangelo. What I'm getting at is it's an acidic flavor, okay? So let's go with about, um, because again, remember that what we're trying to do is have a very dense, a, a flavor punch dressing. So let's go with, um, obviously this is going to be like a vinegar based dressing. So let's go with about half of a cup of that. Okay, I know, look, I know, I'm so professional. <laughs> okay, then this is actually tahini which is Shirley Bar Living Tahini, which is my favorite tahini to buy. 
Um, and I should actually have my lucky day. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's measure this out because we want to get just the amount of fat we need, everything we need, and nothing we don't, right? So um, anyway, this is a tablespoon. So with our tahini, you could use any kind of other nut butter if you want. Um, and the good thing about a nut butter is you're going to have a lot of flavor without a lot of volume. So if you use avocado, see, that would be a different deal. This may be a little less than a tablespoon. I don't think it is, though. Anyway, I'm going to use two tablespoons. It's going to give me about 190 calories from fat right there, okay? And the reason it's in this is because I shared some of this with Carly and she took the jar, so anyway. And then um, what we have here is wakame seaweed, okay? Now what this is is a very, very salty tasting seaweed. This one is actually from Emerald Cove. I mean, if you're ever really like tripping for the salt taste, that is so salty. It does not really have a very strong seaweed or sea side, like sea salt smell either. So anyway, um, I don't really want to use that because it'll stick. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there of that. Okay. All right, you don't even need that much. But. So what we're having is we've got a fatty component, an acidic. We've got the salty right there. Now, what I have here that someone has graciously sent me as a gift in the mail Look, don't be hating. I'm sorry, but this is seven hot dates. Just in case you can't get a date, you can just sit at home and have these and you, you won't even know you wanted a date. So anyway, these are dates. If you don't have dates on hand, you could use raisins, golden raisins. You could use dried unsulfurized apricots, which you can get a great deal on over at Costco's. Um, you could use lacuma powder, which is a powder that's raw and ground, made from the lacuma fruit, dried at low temperatures and ground. That's kind of a good sweetener if you're a person that has blood sugar problems. Um, frankly, this dressing doesn't even really need any sweet, but just to give it a nice flavor bounce, I'm going to go with that. Oh, these are very, do you all see? Juicy. So anyway, you can put, just depending on how much um, sweet you want in there, I think I'll put two. They're just like so moist and gooey like little pecan pies. Yes, they are. And, um, okay, so we have that, and then, okay, this is just some herbs and spices that I have. Um, it has dill, onion, paprika, um, red pepper flakes, and uh, garlic, and a little onion powder, okay? That's what this is. But this is a great base. You could add anything you want. If you have herbs like dill, sage, rosemary, it'd be really good for you to add that in. If I was gonna add fresh herbs, I would get this blending first. Hi, Mickey. I would get this blended first, and then I would add in the herbs because therefore you're gonna, you can almost like fold them in because if you blend them in, what happens is it turns your dressing a green color, which is not what you want because after all, you're trying to fit in. I know you brought your own dressing in your pants, and people are like, wow, what's that bulge going on? And I'm just saying, like, you're you're different already. Don't be bringing in the green sludge. And somebody asked me, when I'm drinking, this is hibiscus tea. Okay, so we're going to put in a little of this. I'm going to go with about, I don't know, half a tablespoon. Now, as you see, this is not much in there to blend, so we might have a little... So you could add a little bit of bulk of something, like maybe one stalk of celery or something. We're gonna see if we can get this to blend without it. And it will depend on your blender. It's really good if you have a neutral bullet or something like that because those, um, they blend small amounts pretty good. So anyway, let's get this blending. I'll have to come over here because I have an outlet right here and I'm gonna have to see why it doesn't work. But because I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna be able to see the blend and everything. I know, like it, it is a, it is a brand new day, friends. Okay, so haul right there, please. Don't go. I'll be right back. See, that's plenty of moisture to blend. It's blending with that rock. Let's see if I had a cameraman in here. He could tilt the, like, see, if I just had, I could hire a Christian to follow me around like I'm, I'm a fully raw vegan. It, it's like I'm not that anyway, but you know. And then I could be out and like I had a cameraman, right? He's not doing that. He has his own life. Okay, I'm going to have to add a 
and then you're you're off and running so I'm gonna bring it closer but um first I want to move the stuff and so the point is this you have this see I could even put this in a smaller container very delicious I'm bringing this with me later because I'm going out again I have there's a date it's a second date and I'm going to see the Nutcracker play in Greenville South Carolina it's at the Peace Center and it's a huge production, and I've never been to that. And then he did ask me that I want to go out to eat, and so he is unaware of my, you know, different ways. I mean, he kind of knows, but not really. So I'm just saying, like, if I bring this, then I can pretty much go anywhere. I don't have to think, well, I can go to Mexican. I can, I can go anywhere because I have a sweet style with the wait staff where, you know, they want to actually give me what I want, which is great. Um, anyway, so let's move this. Show, look, 
I know it's professional. <laughs> oh, me. And let's bring you off, and I had to plug you in. Would y'all like to see this fancy setup I have going on? Okay, so we have, obviously, my phone is the camera, you know. And then we have this, okay. There's my journal there. And uh, Christopher is paying his own insurance, which is excellent. And then I have some lighting. And I have the lighting. And I have the lighting. I really do. Uh, see, that's the thing I'm doing. So, anyway, um, let's get up on the counter and we'll talk. And I'll see what y'all are saying about that. But, you know, the point is, you really can. You... <laughs> People make so many excuses, and the friend I was talking to the other day on the phone, here was her dilemma. She, she was like, um, hold on just a sec. She was like, well, you know, I work from home. I said, yes, and, and so do I, you know. And she said, um, so, you know, a lot of times when, when dinner time comes, um, you know, I want to go out. I, I'm ready to get out of this house. I'm like, yeah, I get it. And she's like, well, how do I do that? How do I? I'm like, because... You decide you're going to do it, and and at that point you've got two excuse, two things, two avenues. You're either going to make it happen, and if you don't make it happen, anything else you did was make an excuse. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, from Europe, how are y'all? Um, so anyway, and she agreed, and I was like. Just decide, because otherwise, how do you how do you expect to get different? How? You like my setup, Mickey? <gasps> Y'all, these dates. I, look, I want to just like eat those. Here's the thing: Do you understand that dates have 77 calories a piece? Do you understand that? They are not a free food. Okay, I mean, maybe they are if that's all you're eating, but if that's all you're eating, you're not getting a wide variety of nutrients. Okay. So I'm just saying, perhaps just not eating food like, you know, calories don't matter and nutrients don't matter. I mean, because it does. I mean, maybe you don't want to, maybe you don't want to get results. I, I don't know, but I do. And I like to keep my results. So yeah, no excuses. Going, I mean, just like today, this guy has never, he doesn't know me. I mean, he kind of does, but he doesn't understand the realm. I mean, People around these parts eat chicken. Do you know what I mean? They don't understand that that's a chicken. A chicken leg, I know you're going to be shocked by this, but it's actually a chicken's leg. I know it looks just like Ellie Mae's leg, and that is wrong, okay? Don't nibble my dog. <laughs> anyway, the point is... This is a new friend. It's not like my mom has like, whatever, I guess you're never eating normal again. Okay, well, I'm normally not going to have a heart attack, mom. Like, get on board, right? So anyway, arriving is me. And, you know, yesterday we were having a hot tea. He was having a coffee, but um, I w uh, he was like, well, um, where where can you eat? You know, and I was like, I can eat anywhere. Choose somewhere you like, you know, because um. After the show today for the Nutcracker, we're going to go to some, somewhere. I don't know, wherever he chooses. It won't matter to me. I'm like, listen, sir, I've been doing this a long time, and I can do it anywhere. I, I can, by the way, go on any vacation. I can go to any exciting event. I really can do those things. So if, if you would like to invite me to that, I can go. I really can. <laughs> and he was a tall man, too. And I, I'll tell you, I hope you're sitting down for this disturbing fact, okay? Do you realize... I don't think it was 11%. They're only 11% of the men in this country are over six feet tall. I need a drink. Y'all like how the price tag's down on this? Look at the deal I got on this, like $2.99 or $3.99. Hey, Linda. 11%, and I'm just saying that I'm not hating on shorter guys. I mean, more petite. I'm just not. I'm just saying that I really I like to say I'm five foot ten, but I'm not. Okay, I'm almost five foot eleven. Like that's the reality of it. Okay, and I I like to wear heels. I, I'm a girl. I like to be cute. I I don't want. I mean, it was fine for Sunny and Sheer, but I don't want to be that. Okay, and I. I don't want my thighs to be bigger than yours on the couch. I mean, I lived with that for 20 years. I, 
I want to be able to wear my heels, okay? I'm really my wedgies. So I'm just saying, like, anyway. So there's a lot of components. And he was a tall man. He was six foot four. He might have been six three. And he, like, had large hands. And he, he was dressed. And he was slim. And he does some some fitness. And, and he could talk. He was younger than me, too. <laughs> Do y'all think that's funny? Are y'all wondering how old this guy was? <laughs> it's funny because I, I know y'all thought I just came here to talk about dressing, but I really just want to tell you about my date. <laughs> I was thinking, what else can I talk about about health so I can get some friends over here to chat with? So anyway, um, hey, Renata, what are you doing? Oh, my battery's low. So anyway, um... Your Wi-Fi is cutting out, or mine is. Who introduced you to the guy? I met him online. I'm doing this thing where it's like online dating. I'm, I'm doing that. Because really, if I'm not going to, like the mailman that comes here, he's five foot seven. He is a cute guy, but he's married too. Like it's a lot of problems, right? And then the UPS man, I don't know. Like he's kind of a nice dude, but I, I don't know. And like he's, and, and I'm not saying I, I'm not going to date a guy that has a few extra pounds. I'm just saying, like, he, 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 there's a lot of Bojangles cups in the truck. Like, I don't know if I'm on board with that. And so other than those two guys, like, what am I just randomly going to meet somebody? I mean, like, when I come up to a red light, I smile at dudes. I really do. But it's just, it's hard. And a lot of guys around here, you know, they really like, hey, baby, bring me some chicken, chicken wings and Paps Blue Ribbon beer. I mean, they don't know what a vegan is. That's what they think it's called. So... I'm expanding my horizons, and when you do online dating, like you are, it's very, I mean, if somebody's five foot seven, and I said in my profile, I said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm a single girl in the big world now, and like, um, I love to laugh and sing and ride with the top down, and, and I really would love to find, I know the one I'm seeking is also seeking me, which I really do believe, and, um, and then I, and then I threw this in there somewhere, like, um, yeah, so I, I'm five foot ten, and, and I like to wear heels, so dot, 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 are you a tall guy? Now, why, if you're five foot five, are you messaging me? Did that not, that, that, if you're a man, does that not register? Or you're just thinking like, I got this other, like, I got a lot of big accents. I don't know what assets you got. Like, I don't know what you think, but like, I'm still, okay, anyways, I'm just, I, I put that, and that's funny, isn't it? And so, uh, what else did I put? I was like, um, yes, I mean, I would love for them to have a job. Like, that's a good thing. Like, I, I would love that. And you don't just think you're moving in my house with your backpack, because that's a problem to me, right? I mean, uh, so anyway, not that I don't have a nice home and there's room in here, but I'm just saying, like, a job would be good. Like, so I was like, um, yeah. So, um, I love a, an a ambitious alpha male with a soft side for a feminine lady, you know? How about that? See, I got it down. Like, and you go on there, and there's like 80 or 90 men every day to choose from, and you can just like look, and you can be like, okay, so he's 5'5", five five, yeah, like he lives in, like, and it's it's pretty great. So anyway, I'm doing, it's a thing I'm doing. I'm really doing it. <laughs> and, and the thing is, like, People, they get mad, though, if you don't message them back. But, look, I can't talk to everybody. I'm just one granny, okay? And, clearly, I'm obviously a hot commodity. <laughs> Not really. I'm just being funny. But, but I did have a nice guy. And, um, and what's funny is this guy's last name is Wright. So, he really is Mr. Wright. That's what he told me. And I said, you've used that before. But that's really funny. That's cute. He said, yeah, it is. And, and he wasn't trying to grope me or anything. Like, he held the door, and he, he paid for the tea and coffee, and he, like, he tried to, he did try to scooch up. And then when we were walking back to the car, he did try to put his arm around my waist, which was kind of nice because he was a tall dude, and, like, and he smelled good, too, and he was dressed cute, and he had on very stylish jeans, though they're not the ones with, like, too much embroidery on the back pockets because I don't like that. It looks girly to me. And then he, he, like, his pants were long enough. It was great. He even had on cute socks, and, like, he had on a, a dress shirt, and I'm, and then he said in the text, but he was like, oh, well, it's Saturday. Usually I, that's when I have my stubble. He said, should I shave? I was like, hey, do your thing. Do whatever you want. He shaved and he put on his dress shirt. See, that was a good choice, sir. It really was. <laughs> now, anyway, so today we're going to see the Nutcracker and we are going to dinner somewhere. And like I said... I can go anywhere and do anything, and I don't have to think. He, he doesn't have to think, where am I going to take this freak? Like, what? No. But girls, be, you know, go with the flow. Be happy and, and bring your feminine energy and your, and your enthusiasm for life, you know? 
I mean, it's exciting. Raw for life. The video is slightly behind. It is. And, and you know, going to, to your date or meeting thinking, you know, um, this is just a great opportunity to connect with another spirit in this world. You know, and, and having things, you're asking people like, um, you know, what what are you excited about in your life? You know, what is it that, that you are excited about getting up every day? I wish somebody would ask me that. Like, <laughs> me, me, ask me. And, and then you have to, like, not talk too much. You have to, like, let them talk and, and, like, yeah. But when I got there and he was standing outside and I was walking up and he was very handsome over there and I and he was smiling and he was like, oh, you, you are very beautiful in person. And I was like, oh, thank you, you know. <laughs> anyway, so it's all fun. So what I'm saying is this. We made the dressing together and if you didn't see it, then... You could go back and watch it in a minute because this will load up. Because the thing about this is no matter, there, there's no preview in it and no matter like how weird it is, like it's still, this looks just like French onion dip. It really does. Hmm, you want to buy it? How old is he? <laughs> Look. I do not date baby boys, okay? Like, I have a child already. Like, I have two and a grandbaby. But um, he was married and his wife passed away. He doesn't have any kids, which is good for me because, like, there's no baggage, you know? Not that I don't like kids. I do. But, like, if you got a six-year-old, I ain't raising your kid. Like, I'm not that I'm not that kind of granny, okay? Like, I'm over that. <laughs> but I, I, you know, have just turned 46, and typically... My thought train is, okay, well, these men that were, you know, my, my the raptured one's age a few years ago, you know, they might, like, they might be going through a thing, and, like, I, maybe I'll date an older dude, but then I'm like, why is this man, like, why is he, why is he tired? Like, and he's, like, in his 50s, and not all of them, Byron was 54, and he was not tired. Okay, that was another story. Stop talking about him. It's not good for granny. But anyway, the point is, is I think like, why? And I was telling my daughter, like, he's younger than me. She's like, how old was he, mom? And I was like, he's 41. He just turned 41. I am 46, which means he's five years younger than me. I know my math. I really do. And she's like, well, yeah, well, that sounds about right. Like, you need to drop it on down. And eh, yeah, I don't know. But I was like, um... You know, I might be too old for you. He's like, yeah, I don't think so. You go ahead and meet me out, won't you? And um, and so we were, yeah, it was great. So anyway, that's going on today. So anyway, I just want to show you that, and I won't keep you on here long, but this is what I'm bringing along. And yeah, it's not so much younger that it's just that, like, I'm going to be ridiculous if I take him to a Christmas party. Like, you know, like, it, he's not that young. I just like, I like some established men, you know what I mean? He has a good job, too. And he has a house, and he, he lives in um, Anderson, which is about 40 minutes from me. That's okay. Because really, I don't like when people just stop by with it being unannounced. I'm, I'm not on board with that. What do y'all think? Y'all think five years is too much younger than me? I don't think it is. I think it's okay. Hey, Anthony. <laughs> think I'm better off with somebody younger? Really, I don't think age matters. What I think is life experience and where you are and what your thought train is. I mean, when I am, you know, thinking about, I, I'm not just like, I, I want to cultivate love, you know, a lasting relationship and meaningful bonds and, and meaningful experiences right now, you know. But frankly, at the same time, um, I am happy on my own too. So it's just like, really, it's just a little icing on the raw vegan granny cake, right? So anyway, I love y'all and I hope you have a great day. Unless y'all have anything else you want to talk to about, um, hey Trudy, your hubby is four years younger than you. See you there. Hey Kathleen, how are you? <laughs> y'all, I'm going to have to put those dates up. Those things, that is wrong. I can't just be eating those. Like it's nothing. Like what? Anyway, I love you, so I will um, 
be coming back from the kitchen of love and light because i clearly like what it looks like it's some kind of studio in here but yet i'm still filming with my phone which is ridiculous <laughs> i love y'all see you later alligators bye